The Adjust program will zero out month to date, calendar year to date, fiscal year to date, or project to date fields in the account master file so that new processing may begin. Please remember to print all reports before running Adjust. The information will be very difficult to recapture once the files have been adjusted. Adjust will not run if other users are utilizing programs which have the ability to write to the account.idx file. You will receive an error message that the file is currently locked by another user. Adjust will check for the existence of any of the following batch files, .batch, .inprogress, or .rejected, before it adjusts for month end or year end. If no files are found, the program will continue. However, if batch files are found, they will be listed and you will be given the option of examining the files to see if any of them need to be processed before the end of the month or year. If they do need to be processed, select Yes and you will be exited out of the program. If you select No, Adjust will continue on. Since future purchase order batch files are not meant to be posted until a future processing period, Adjust will ignore any future purchase order batch files designated for a future month. So now I'm going to talk about what gets adjusted when you run each one of these options. The first one is your month end processing. It's effective for your calendar month only. Adjust will automatically calculate the SM2 information using the SM2 calc option from the SM12 program. So this is where that information is stored once the SM2 calc is run. The month to date fields in each of the four types of accounts, the cash, appropriation, budget, and revenue are zeroed out so new processing may begin. All other fields remain the same. The Belmont figures for the month are initialized. The SM12 adjust flag in UCSDAT USACON is set to 2 for the month being processed. A 0 means the month is still open. A 1 means the SM2 calc has been run, 2 means it's closed. The project to date fields will be reset if the project to date clear month matches the month being closed. A warning will be issued if the SM2 adjust flag indicates that the previous month was not closed. You'll be given the option to either continue or return to the main menu. So now we will do a practice run of month end. Have I posted all the necessary transactions? Yes. I'm going to be closing December, so I choose 12. Yes, that is the correct month. Now it goes out and it's looking for all of the batch files that are sitting out there that are for, um, that could possibly need to be posted. If I think they need to be posted, I would say yes. It would exit me out of the program and I would post them. I'm going to say no, they do not need to be posted, and I'm going to continue on. Now it's going to initialize the account master file. The second option of adjust is year end processing, and we're going to talk about calendar year end processing. The calendar year to date fields in each of the four types of accounts are zeroed out so that new processing may begin. The calendar year to date field vendor fields will be cleared. The EMIS reporting year in UCS Stat USA Con is set to equal the current fiscal year. All other fields remain the same. So we'll run through and adjust for calendar year. I'm going to choose 2 for year end processing. I'm going to enter C for calendar. Yes, I've posted all my transactions. No, I don't want to post any of these batch files. And now it's going to adjust the account master file and also the vendor file. Another option of that year end adjust is fiscal. The amounts are moved to the USA HIST file, which can be seen through USA screen history screen. The current fund balance on the cash account is moved to the July 1 cash balance. 
current encumbrances are moved to carryover encumbrances and also entered as the new fiscal year current encumbrances. Future year encumbered is added to the future encumbered, then cleared. The future year requisitioned is added to the future rec, then cleared. Note this will only occur if the track requisitioned amount flag in UCS Stat USA Con is set to yes, otherwise those fields are not even displayed on the accounts. The next year proposed is moved to the initial budget revenue and then cleared. Fiscal to date amounts are cleared on all four accounts, cash, appropriation, budget, and revenue. The calculated fields on the accounts are recalculated and the gap original fields are set to the new expendable receivable amounts. On the vendor file, the fiscal to date amount is cleared. In USAS Stat USA Con, the current fiscal year will be updated and the SM2 adjust monthly access flags are cleared out. The last option of adjust is clear project to date fields. For the cash accounts entered in adjust, the project to date expenditures and receipts will be zeroed out, as well as the associated appropriation budget and revenue accounts. The project to date beginning ending cash balance will also be recalculated by moving the project to date ending figure to the project to date beginning balance amount. We'll run through one of those. Option number three, it's going to ask me for my cash account that I want to clear the project to date. Do I have any other accounts? Uh, I'm going to say no. It's clear the project to date amounts on my, my general fund. 